The Jubilee logo. Give thanks to the Lord, make known among the peoples his deeds. 150 years ago, under the influence of the Holy Spirit, Cardinal Lavigerie founded the Missionaries of Africa and the Missionary Sisters of Our Lady of Africa in Algeria. Blessed are you, Lord, for the faith, love for Africa and zeal that animated our founder. Our first superior general, Mother Mary Salome and all our predecessors in this vocation, send your blessing on our two missionary families and on all your children. Make us artisans of justice, peace and reconciliation. The change. change. This is what pleases me. Unfast us, unfasten the unjust chains. Undo the bonds of the yoke. Free all those who are oppressed and break all slavery. Cardinal Lavigerie fought slavery. Today we are the witnesses of new forms of slavery, which imprisons our brothers and sisters. Human trafficking, trafficking linked to immigration, unpaid work, all sorts of abuse. Let us pray for the victims, for their persecutors, that all may regain their human dignity and live as children of God. May the Spirit of Christ inspire us so that wherever we are, we may be a source of life to all.
the candle. You are the light of the world and salt of the earth. 150 years ago, our brothers and sisters, seized by the love of Christ, responded generously to the Lord's call for the evangelization of Africa and the African world. Like this little candle, they agreed to melt away in order to light up in one way or another the faith and life of their human brothers and sisters. Give us, Lord, today the ability to discern the needs of our world and respond generously to them, bringing, like our elders, light, joy, and hope to those who need it so much. The Congregation's Tree Cardinal Lavigerie told the first missionaries, you are initiators. The lasting work will be done by the Africans themselves, who will in turn beca become apostles themselves. These words have become a reality today. The sons and daughters of Africa proclaim the good news more or less all over the world. This tree of African congregations is a symbol of the support of our two institutes which accompanied them on their first steps. Lord, we thank you for your work in Africa and we ask you to pour out abundantly your graces on your church in Africa so that she may be ever more faithful to you and continue to grow in your love. The flowers, that all may be one in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. With their many different colors, these flowers make a marvelous bouquet in the image of our diversity in communities. It is a rich nest to be lived and shared in our multicultural societies where differences can be a source of conflict and exclusion. Give us the grace, Lord, to witness ever more to your unconditional love for every human being. Basket of fruit. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit. God, full of love and goodness, we thank you for the gifts of your creation, for our earth, its beauty and richness, for the rich heritage we enjoy. Lord, we entrust to you those who make decisions about the Earth's resources so that we can use your gifts responsibly and become true guardians of your creation. The bread and wine. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they may also may be consecrated in truth. With this bread and wine, we bring you, Lord, all the young people in formation in the, in the Universal Church. The Church still needs missionaries. missionaries. 
We pray for these young men and women who will continue your mission of evangelization. May they be driven by a love for you and for humanity in order to pass on the values of the gospel and to make you known where you are not yet known. The Chalices. As we celebrate the 150th anniversary of our two institutes, we also want to give thanks for those who have continued the work of the founder. Three of the chalices we use today are those of Cardinal Lavigerie and of two of his successors, who continued and strengthened this missionary charism in Africa, Bishop Léon Livinac and Father Paul Voilard. One of the altar cloths has been embroidered by Maghrebian women trained by our first sisters. They are used today for this thanksgiving. <laughs> 